Bristol really is a wonderful place to live and to visit. It's got this creative and diverse culture which attracts a lot of people. It's also got some wonderful public and green spaces like here at College Green and round the corner at Queen Square. But it wasn't always like this. Just a few years ago, this space right behind me here was a major road. The people of Bristol had to demand this space back and it didn't happen without a fight. And just a few yards away from some of our public spaces, we have this. It feels like a completely different world and it's having a huge impact on people's lives. The biggest source of air pollution in Bristol is road traffic. There was a report out earlier this year actually which identified that the health effects of air pollution in Bristol are causing 300 premature deaths each year. Well, sometimes we avoid coming into the city centre because it just feels very polluted and um, not particularly safe with so much traffic and there's not actually very many spaces for um, kids to play right in the centre. Children are particularly vulnerable to the effects of air pollution because their lungs and their cells are developing. Air pollution is likely to have an impact that is then going to be felt throughout their lifetime. Luckily, the solution is at hand. It is absolutely achievable. A long list of cities in the UK and Europe have reclaimed their city centres by removing through traffic. There's many ways to do this effectively without affecting access to businesses or to people's homes. In fact, there's a great example not so far from here. Leicester has successfully made this transition. When I went around the city, people would approach me and say, uh, you're daft, you're going to kill the city centre. Now what I get is people quite spontaneously coming up to me and saying, look, we really like what you're doing. You, you really are improving our city. In Bristol, a group of people who live here came together and formed Living Heart for Bristol as a way to bring these changes through. The Living Heart of Bristol proposals could really help to reduce the impact of air pollution in the city centre. I would definitely feel more comfortable about bringing our children into the city centre. But now we need your help to achieve it. So help share this message and go to the website at livingheart.org.uk and sign up to our campaign.